What's up everyone, Mariah here and welcome to day three of my refeed after my 54 day long fast. My family is celebrating Thanksgiving today. I'm trying to put together some keto friendly, non sugar sweets for myself today. The sweetener of choice that I am using is the Swerve, the Erythritol. I just have a feeling in my in my stomach it's gonna mess me up a bit today let's see so we're celebrating our Thanksgiving today and I also want to mention that at about 5 30 a.m. I had my first bowel movement so it was after eating the steak and chicken that they had at my mom's surprise party and I'm really curious to know if it was that or just it was time for the bowel movement to happen. So I kinda wish I would've just stuck to my steak and eggs for like a week to see what my bowel movements would've been like. You know, I just felt the need to have some meat there, so that's exactly what I did. So I made my sugar-free dessert for Thanksgiving. It's basically like these little, in Puerto Rico, they call them coconut kisses. And when I got to Puerto Rico, they were the th first thing that I was like obsessed with dessert-wise. And I didn't even put two and two together and I ended up making them as this dessert. And they actually turned out all right, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm also doing some chicken stock as well before my Thanksgiving meal. I don't really know what I'm gonna eat. I'm actually thinking about bringing my own food. So we will see how that goes. No shame in my beaver game. I just wore this to make people laugh. So I'm gonna probably get some people that don't like beaver, but I'm going over to my Thanksgiving and I'm just afraid that there's gonna be like nothing there for me to eat or the ham will probably have like sugar all over it. I am doing two pieces of bacon again. I'm also gonna take some bone broth over because like while everyone's sipping on their coffee, I'm gonna be sipping my bone broth and it just tastes good. It's like good soup, right? I take that back, it's not bone broth, chicken stock. I went ahead and added like one fifth of a block of the Kerrygold butter. I'm gonna go ahead and do some nutritional yeast, salt, potassium. Okay, so my big 40 ounce container here, um, it has one whole things of these, which is four cups, one sixth of the Kerrygold butter block. And then I'm doing nutritional yeast here. Three tablespoons of the nutritional yeast. The potassium. I'm gonna start with half a teaspoon of both it and the pink salts. And then I'm gonna taste it and see if I need to add more. My goal is to not feel stuffed today. I know there's like a lot going on. So my thing is, potassium is always the hardest thing for me to get in every day because of the simple fact that it tastes like shit. So one fourth, another teaspoon of the potassium. Awesome, still no trace of potassium. You know what, I'm gonna do one more teaspoon, excuse me, one more, one fourth teaspoon of the potassium. So that brings us to one whole teaspoon of potassium. So today I celebrated Thanksgiving with my family and I didn't want to be making videos like the whole time. I kinda just wanted to enjoy the moment. What I ended up eating today, I had ham and then I also had brought two pieces of my bacon as well as five egg yolks and two whites. That was excessive. Like I could have probably done a lot less of that of food and I would have felt, I would say better. Dessert wise, I wanted to make my own dessert. And so I basically made like the coconut macaroons. I'm sure the erythritol tore up my stomach a bit. I definitely had a little bit of reaction there, but I would say reaction as in just having to run to the restroom, but my stomach, like I've never had throughout this refeed process yet, excruciating stomach pains. I haven't experienced that. Or my intestines just like feeling terrible or extreme bloating. Like I haven't experienced any of that yet. And there was erythritol, erythritol in the coconut macaroon, so I'm, you know, I'm sure it was partially that. I think it was partially the amount that I ate. I'm still wondering if, you know, the steak and the chicken from the restaurant I had yesterday messed up with, messed me up at all. But I'm uh, curious to see uh, what is, how my body's going to react next. My, my window was quite open today. It started at about 11 a.m. and then it ended at about 7 p.m. And everyone was like getting up and like starting to have dinner. And I was like, am I hungry? Am I not hungry? And I was like, oh, you know, some more Thanksgiving ham would be good. I also added some of my raw manchego cheese. I was like in the middle of eating it and it just like really wasn't going down. I'm like, oh man, I just kind of like followed everyone else and got in line to start having dinner after lunch for Thanksgiving. Probably could have, or I definitely could have skipped that. I would say overall it was pretty solid and I enjoyed time with my family, but I would say Reefy's going well because I feel pretty darn good. I'm not having any bad reactions. 
I'm not having any allergic reactions. You know, this was a, a crazy long weekend with my mom's surprise party on Friday, Thanksgiving Saturday. Tomorrow I'm also doing a reunion with all of my former employees that I had when I had my food truck business. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to fast through that after this big day of eating Thanksgiving or what exactly I'm gonna do there, but I kinda just wanna get back to like my bacon and eggs or try out like a grass-fed piece of, piece of steak that I have, kinda get back to making my own food. You know, it's all these socializing things, catching up with people that, that I haven't seen in like months or up to, you know, almost a year. So uh, yeah, that was my refeed for this. Well, I hope you have an amazing, amazing day and you think about what I said today and like getting up, you know, for dinner after the Thanksgiving lunch. I wasn't as mindful as I could have been. So I hope you have an amazing day and go out there and create a life you love.